<laughs> All right, uh, Little Bloomer, a children's boutique in downtown Noblesville, has opened its doors to customers uh, once again after the COVID-19 crisis forced them to shut down for six weeks. But the owner, you guys, says it's going to take the community support for those doors to stay open. Our own Randall Newsom has more. Well, and this one's cute. It says, beautiful girl, you're going to do amazing things. Shauna Metzger has a passion for kids, and every day she shows it off in her children's boutique. She opened Lil Bloomers five years ago with the help of her two biggest motivations in life, her two kids. They're probably known, if not more, than myself. They are definitely my inspiration. Before opening the store, I was a social worker for the trustee's office for eight years. But the money she was making then didn't match up with the cost of taking care of her kids. So we just decided we would try to come up with an idea where I could be with the kids, but yet still try to bring in some income. And so that's how Little Bloomers was born. So you might ask, what's so special about Little Bloomers? Well, the materials they sell here actually support other local businesses. We have um, 29 makers in the store, and so our goal was to, um, when we opened the store, was to find um, other creative avenues, other people in the community who we could support also, um, that they could make things for our store. But the COVID-19 crisis may have given her the biggest challenge to overcome, and she watched as some businesses were able to keep going. Unfortunately, Kids clothing was not one of those thriving businesses um, just because people um, probably were just wearing sweats all day. I know that's kind of what we did during this time. Um, but honestly, um, we, we tried to adjust the best that we could. We started doing deliveries. That's why now that their doors are back open, they need the community, especially people with small kids, to come back and support. Honestly, any support that we can get or continue to get is really grateful, not only to us and my family, but to the makers' families. We actually have a maker right now who at Easter time had lost her job, and we sold a whole bunch of her items in Easter baskets that we were um, selling. It was great to know that we were able to help her pay her bills and you know, help put food on her table because um, she she's a single mom. And if you need to know just how passionate Shauna is about not just her business, but her entire community, I dressed up as the Easter Bunny and delivered um, kids Easter baskets. Oh, I need those pictures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A site that shows you just how far she's willing to go to keep people inspired and keep her little bloomer's dream alive. In Noblesville, Randall Newsom, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. All right, Randall, thank you. We'll have more information about how you can support little bloomers on wishtv.com right after the show.